Remember, Rajdeep has been this big north versus south uh, effort that the opposition is making to try and build a narrative around how North Indian states are different from South Indian states. Do South Indian states truly feel and vote differently? We'll find out in this hour. We're starting with Karnataka, a state which, remember, went to the polls seven months ago in Vidhan Sabha. And interestingly, this is what it's showing. In terms of vote share, the NDA is way ahead of the India Alliance. Remember, there's a Congress government in Karnataka. 53% at the moment to the NDA, 42% to the India Alliance, others 5 This is identical in vote share compared to 2019. How is this translating into seats? Remember, 28 seats in Karnataka, 25 were won by the BJP last time. And we are saying the BJP is down just one. 24 from remember 27 now includes the JDS which has joined hands with the BJP there so the J, BJP JDS 24 that's down three but they're still holding its own India Alliance just four in a state where the Congress is in power and India Alliance means effectively Congress here others zero so you've got the first southern state giving bad news to the Congress party and Raj Chengappa, it's your home state. So why don't you kick off? It suggests very different verdict to what we saw seven months ago when the Congress won pretty decisively. But let's say Rajdeep, it's not surprising in Karnataka. It's if history. you recall, it, 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 it started from Karnataka when uh, Rajiv Gandhi swept Karnataka, winning, winning about 26 out of 28 seats in, in 1984. Within three months, Ramakrishna Hegde was elected as chief minister. We're going to see the reverse uh, polarization happening in this case where for Karnataka they felt that the Congress was good it was needed because the BJP government was not effective and therefore the voters likely to tilt towards the giving Modi the mandate because he did campaign extensively there he did push if you remember the final phase a certain percentage up over there so Karnataka and the other thing BJP has smartly done is tied up with the JDS. JDS. So the Vokliga vote, which would have made a decisive difference in Old Mysore and others, is getting split across these two. Amitabh Tiwari, mean, is into there that. seamless transfer of votes from the Janta Dal secular uh, to the BJP, or do you think it might seem like that, but on the ground it's not so easy to transfer? See, JDS vote is largely anti-Congress vote. See, the regional parties have been born out of anti-Congressism. And if you see the gap between India bloc and the NDA bloc, is 11% and which out of which 9% is largely JDS. So JDS has, has pockets of influence in not only the old Mysuru, but even the Bangalore region. There the implementation of schemes has been very good. And Congress is trying to project the Karnataka model as their model. But historically BJP has been strong in Karnataka. From 1919 to 2019, they have won all the elections barring 1999. And surprisingly, BJP today, even in 2019, is the single largest party in South of India. Because South of India, there are regional parties who dominate and not the Congress. Look at the irony. The party that is supposed to have the ideology shows political dexterity. The party with no ideology, so to speak, in terms of certain core philosophical issues, is very rigid when it comes to tactical alliances. Sanjay Kumar. Uh, I think the, the problem with the Congress is that it is slow in taking initiative I would say even lazy in taking initiative. And if you look at the BJP on the other hand, even if they realize that they are going very strong in 2024, but they don't want to leave any chance. And my own sense is that if you talk to any BJP leader, they are pretty sure that they are winning 2024. But why they are entering into all these alliances despite ideological differences, despite having you know, given strong statement against the leader of those parties, is that they want to make, they want to big win. Let's come to Telangana. We look at the vote share numbers for Telangana first and then the seat share numbers. So in Telangana, the BJP thinks they will be able to gain ground. They had uh, four seats the last time. So when we look at the seat share for the BJP in Telangana, uh, our poll is predict predicting 21%, just marginally up, 1% up from the last time. Uh, the big jump here is for the Congress, which was at 30% last time, this time at 41%. Uh, whereas uh, the BRS and the other parties, which includes OVC, coming down to 38 from 50% the last time. So the big change really is the bump in the fortunes of the Congress and the decline in the fortunes of the BRS. How does this translate into seats? The one, the only sliver of hope that we're seeing 
of all the numbers that we've put out so far in the Mood of the Nation opinion poll are actually coming from the 17 seats of Telangana, where the Congress's tally is expected to go up from 3, potentially to 10. That's up 7 from the last time. The BJP was at 4, could come down to 3, that's down 1. The BRS was at 9, could come down to 3, that's down 6. The AIMM stays where it was the last time, so OVC wins his seat. Um, 3 to 10. Now, from what I know, Amit Shah and the BJP big guns will be figuring out some way that they don't give them 10, they don't give You know, uh, Rahul, the fact is, honeymoons do exist. You know, I know that we are in a world where even living relationships are now looked at with a question mark, but a honeymoon is still fine. Uh, in the poll, the honeymoon is yeah. on. Uh, Whether it will be the, on in May or not, we don't know. This is the one state where at the moment, Yashwan's poll seems to suggest that the honeymoon is on. They just won an election, what, two months ago? And uh, therefore, there isn't even enough time for any anti-incumbency as of now to build. That's the sense I get, Yashwan. That's Am I right? Because yeah. in the contrast with Karnataka here seems clear. Uh, where the Congress is still very much the new party that has just toppled a 10-year-old uh, government. I think Congress is reaping benefit of the popularity of Ravant Reddy. I think what is happening here is that in absence of any national leadership popularity or popular national leadership, Congress has to now look around for the popularity of their local leaders. And this is one state where definitely the popularity of Ravant Reddy no, is... So why is it working in Telangana but not Karnataka? It's not working simply because we have got two popular contenders and uh, Rashid Bhai might be able to tell this, but I am dead sure that uh, the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka would not like Congress to win in Karnataka in Lok Sabha election because if Congress loses Karnataka in Lok Sabha election, that paves the way for him to become the Chief Minister. There is no substitute for hard work on the ground, Rahul Verma. The fact is the Congress in Telangana genuinely made an effort in the last one year or 18 last six months. six months. Yeah, I mean six after months. The Karnataka but to election. be fair, you know, after Karnataka they got momentum, Rahul. But there was a sense that the Congress in Telangana was slow, slowly at least... They were, they were there on the ground. They were more visible after Karnataka, no doubt about that, Rahul. But I think, would it be right to say that there is, there is a lesson there? You work hard on the ground, you... Throw up a leader like Revan Reddy who is able to connect and maybe, just maybe, who knows where the future is. Telangana has been a Congress state. Indira Gandhi contested from Medak all those years ago. Uh, but at least in Karnataka and Telangana, you have a party on the ground. We all are taught this lesson from childhood that you have to work hard to get something. right? So it's, a, ha, so, so, so it's not just for politics that you have to work hard. Sometimes, see, Congress also, not just because of the hard work in Telangana, but also some of the mistakes that BJP as well as BRS made in Telangana, which gave that kind of edge to Congress uh, in Telangana. And of course, Revanta is now very, very popular. BRS is not picking up from the defeat uh, it faced last time. And that's the advantage they are getting. And BJP has still not been able to figure out what its Telangana strategy is going to be, unlike in other states. Do, do we take strident anti-Muslim politics? Will that take us forward? Somehow... For all the gains they made in Telangana five years ago, they've remained stagnant. One of the few states where they've not, you know, uh, multiplied overnight. I think the BJP is still shell-shocked by what happened. And the way the Congress came in and snatched what they thought was their territory, because KCR was on the decline, and the Congress smartly moved in uh, and got, got the prize. But I just want to make a larger point, which we did in passing reference. And we talked about, and uh, Rajdeep, you talked about, I, I think, this is this whole thing that uh, Siddharamaya and uh, Shivkumar came to Delhi for, and you've seen these full-page advertisements about the South being neglected, not being given the due in terms of its money that was there. I think that is a potent force as it gets along, because it's also tied up with delimitation in some senses, that somehow the South is performing very well. Andhra's, I mean, uh, 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 Telangana is one of the states, Karnataka we talked about, and yet... You know, so this kind of thing can begin to erode on the Modi wave factor. So Andhra Pradesh on your screen next. 25 seats here. I look at projected vote shares first. Uh, the YSR CP of Jagan Reddy had 49% vote share last time. That's projected to come down to 41. That's 8 down from the last time. But the TDP, which was at 40% the last time, is now expected to go up to 45 Remember, we had uh, Chandra Babu Naidu meeting the Home Minister recently. Are they picking up signals which before this poll the others hadn't, but BJP obviously had its own polling on the ground. 
Um, the BJP had very little vote share. It's just marginally expected to go up. The Congress had very little vote share, marginally expected to go up. But the big change there is for the first time, we are seeing the vote share of the YSR CP since Jagan led his party to power after that famous uh, Padyatra, lesser than the TDP, a 4% gap, converted into seats. Fascinating here, very, very fascinating. Because remember, Chandra Babu Naidu was really given the rough end of the legal stick recently. And there's a lot of talk amongst the TDP supporters that there is sympathy on the ground there. That is reflecting in the numbers for the first time because from zero, the TDP is projected to go up to 17. If you ask me of all that we've seen, this is the one number that pops out of the screen and grabs my attention. You know, my, my sense is uh, uh, Mr. Amit Shah has uh, got a sense of what Yashwan Deshmukh's poll was suggesting. Because why is no, it? No, Sanjay Kumar is surprised. You know, He's because, the ulta because, because you've got, before I tell you, know, because you see, Chandra Babu yes. Naidu no, was there. Clarification, Rajdeep. Yes. Is TDP only TDP or... TDP Jan plus Jansena, TDP obviously. TDP plus Jansena. Is it Jansena yeah, also? Yeah, yeah. TDP but, but you see, the thing is that you've got a party where whose leader, Chandrababu Naidu, has been knocking on the doors of the NDA for months now. And the NDA wasn't opening the door. Suddenly at the Ram consecration ceremony, you see Chandrababu Naidu there. Now Chandrababu Naidu has come back to Delhi and apparently there are two views within the BJP. How far should you go to completely embrace him? But I think the BJP wants to be clear. They want to be with the winning side in Andhra Pradesh. And the Andhra side also wants to be with the, with the BJP because you need help from the centre. So if these numbers are right... One of the alliances we could see in the next couple of weeks is TDP. No, but Jansena remember, Jagan is also meeting Amit Shah. So now we don't know. I'm, I'm the, just saying these numbers. These the numbers BJP has put... both the Andhra balls up in the air. They can decide where they want to go. No, the thing is that BJP cannot decide who forms the government in Andhra because I think the the real battle there remains Chandra Babu versus Jagan Rahul. But with these no, but numbers, what, the BJP will be changed? tempted to go along with Yashwan Deshmukh. Chandra. This is the most fascinating insight of all that we've seen so far. The Telugu Desam, where many people had started writing the obituary of Chandra Babu, political obituary of Chandra Babu Naidu and his party, pops out. Jagan Reddy, who so far is busy, and I'm sure he'll be watching this, so we should be just slightly mindful of what we say, busy projecting invincibility is suddenly seeming on uh, shaky ground. And how does this then impact potentially the assembly election, which will also be held at the same time? I think the problem what Jagan Mohan Reddy is facing, not that his own personal popularity has taken a hit. I think the problem is there is a huge number of non-performing MLAs and MPs. The anti-incumbency at In the micro In your view, is the assembly level. mood also the same? Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what is happening right now. You're so sure about Unless they, he changes no, big number No, because you don't of, know for sure, because yeah, this is a Lok Sabha poll. Yeah, that's what I'm but saying. But you think it indicates assembly that, mood also? I'm getting the indication of that same as well. Unless he changes huge number of sitting <laughs> MLAs. TDP two months ago was thinking of joining the India Block Alliance. After the 3-0 drubbing, mm. It has again changed its mind. So the regional parties, Hawa Kidar Bay Rahi hai, are we, very no. cognizant of this. And fact. there's another no, little I, piece of trivia, Rahul. There are two wings of Prashant Kishore's IPAC. Yeah. One wing is with Chandra Babu Naidu, and the other wing is with uh, Jagan Mohan Reddy. And, Prashant Kishore and uh, 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 a few weeks ago, Prashant Kishore was allegedly on a flight with Chandra Babu or uh, with Chandra Babu Naidu or his son, and all speculation sort of uh, arose in uh, Andhra. Is he going to now align with Chandra Babu Naidu? He says he's not. But uh, if these numbers are true, he clearly knows who's on no. the winning side. Jagan didn't give the NOC. But are you surprised with these numbers? <laughs> are you surprised at Actually. all with these numbers, Sanjay Kumar? Actually. No, about Andhra, we are all discussing TDP and YSRCP. But we are not discussing Janasena. I think Janasena is very important. If you just pull out Janasena from the TDP How much alliance, is the Janasena vote? It's roughly about, about four, four, four and a half percent. Oh, yeah. yeah, but but yeah. But if you pull out Janasena from the pull TDP, Jans then Jagan Mohan Reddy is back in the game. That is so sure. And it is, the it is, a, it is, is a situation like yeah. Bihar. 